Hello, Dr. T. So as you can see, this time I am opting for the alternative format. Uh, in this case, I'm doing a screencast of my evaluation of the evaluation recorded. Uh, I kind of shot in the middle of the resources provided and went with the Idaho Commission for Libraries, uh, their LSTA peer evaluation reports, because I was just curious what that might end up being. Uh, and from there, I actually selected the digital reports category, uh, which I have here. And then, you know, for the sake of ease, I went ahead and chose the first of those, which was the LilyQuick doc to be the one that I would do my evaluation on, which I have right here. So, uh, at first glance, I think we can see that uh, well, the, some of the main sections are immediately missing, and uh, it starts with the project purpose, uh, which they just use a quote from the grant itself as to clarify that, and uh, then it has the evaluation process as three brief bullet points down here. Uh, they read the grant proposal in a quarterly report, so they interviewed the project director, and they looked at the database itself. Uh, it seems a little too brief and cursory to me, and it seems like, uh, especially as you read further in the report, that there was a lot more that they could have done. Uh, going down, you have other sections, uh, including the evaluation itself, which is a paragraph. Uh, and then there is the key elements of success, which they do a bullet pointed list uh, from their perspective, why the project is so fantastic. Uh, and next we have project sustainability. Uh, there's some you know, quality information provided there as to uh, reasons why the project is likely to uh, be sustainable for the future, uh, indefinite future. And then the last section that they have uh, yes, that's only going to be two and a half pages, uh, is further enhancements and development. Uh, you could akin that to the recommendation section of the typical report, uh, but definitely not to the you know, level that you might uh, typically expect uh, as well. So, I don't know, you know, I'd say at least looking at this one report, uh, peer is the key word. Uh, it doesn't appear that the evaluator in this case uh, is trained as an evaluator. And, you know, given the way the program works, it's not necessarily to be expected. Uh, although, you know, you might expect them to have some basic standardization, at least, of what they would want to receive from the evaluators. And there doesn't even, uh, based on what I've looked at, appear to be that. Um, so, you know, clearly it lacks the similar conventions, the specific convention formats of the uh, process that we've looked at, and, you know, it lacks some general standardization. If we look at another report, the next one down uh, happens to be filed by the same evaluator. Um, it has a similar uh, layout, starts with project purpose, uh, again, quoted in the grant application, uh, lists some successful elements of the project, uh, talks about some project challenges in this case, uh, and then sustainability. Uh, no specific recommendations uh, are included in this particular report. So, you know, whether it's called something else or not. So you can see, you know, there's even between you know, written by the same evaluator, the reports uh, aren't clearly following a standard format. Uh, if we look at the last report of the list in the digital collections, this one's definitely uh, more towards the specific format, but still would lack sections, or at least not be in the order we would expect. Uh, it starts with the evaluation method, a brief two paragraphs, and uh, then we also have the evaluation summary. Uh, does list project objectives. One of the key things that the other one is missing specifically. Uh, 
talks about the project method, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is definitely a more detailed and more standardized version, or follows closer what we would accept as a standardized version, but still not uh, the specific format that we've been provided. Uh, the original report, going back to that one, the Lilliquick docs, uh, if you go down into portions of the report, um, it does mention uh, some surveys, etc. But there's really, there's no clear indication of uh, what specifically is being measured and how each specific goal uh, is going to be measured. So there's, again, the mention of survey results, and, but no reporting of any of those results as part of the report, uh, which definitely is probably the biggest surprise to me. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's definitely readable, uh, maybe too readable, if you will. Uh, maybe it's too easy, arguably. And... Uh, and there's some, you know, some things I would definitely change if I was to have, you know, written the report myself, especially given uh, what I've learned thus far. Um, for starters, I, you know, I would follow the standard format. Uh, furthermore, um, I would really focus on providing some very specific, measurable goals, and then how I would go about measuring those goals. And this is a component that this particular report really lacks. Um, also, I would definitely include some of that survey data that was available. So I would you know, want to see those survey results, analyze those survey results, and compile uh, some graphic representations, etc. You know, I would want to report out those survey results as part of the evaluation. Um, so really, uh, in summary, I would just say that, you know, it appears to be uh, less evaluator oriented in this case and more peer. And I would definitely want to go the other way around and be more evaluator oriented and less peer oriented in the report that I would have written. And that is my critique of the particular uh, report that I chose. Thanks, and have a good day.